Good morning guys, Laura here from Hedgehog's Homestead. We are definitely in the tomatoes. So, let's go harvest some more. <laughs> um, I need to start canning, so maybe my next video will be canning. Um, I'm also going to make sourdough bread out of that starter probably uh, tomorrow. But I'm also going to show you today what the garden looks like at the end of the summer season. Some of the things that I've done in my garden is kind of just let things go a little bit because I've been extremely busy, not on purpose, but um, this is the time of year where things really start to go south as far as plants dying off. On here, I have this one pumpkin still ripening up and um, you can look there, the leaves are all dying off. But at this point, guys, yeah, that's, that's disease, so I won't put it in my compost, but at the same time, this is that time of year where things die off and it's just the life cycle of your plants. So if you're in a place where you're worried about what's going on with your gardening, now I also organic garden too. So um, just know that, you know, things aren't always gonna look the best when you do it that way. But I have some beautiful, sunflowers that have volunteered in my garden and uh, four of them there aren't they just a ray of sunshine at the end of the season too um, I still have tomatoes on the vine there's another one I'm gonna pick let me go get a pair of scissors I like to use scissors when I collect my tomatoes. I thought I got them all this morning. And there we go. There's our harvest for today. Every day I get about a bucket that full from my lovely garden. Um, we have another pumpkin plant there. And this tomato plant has just fallen over and um, it's a little baby Roma tomato plant. There's a lovely bee. Oh, there's another tomato in the back there that I gotta grab. Let's see if I can get it back this way. Oh, oh. Back here. I like to get them, get my tomato plants um, when they're uh, just turning color and then ripen them inside because of because of insect pressure. Um, there's another pumpkin plant, and if you look, the vine's dying all around it, but it's still ripening, so it's slow, but we're gonna let it go because I want that pumpkin. Um, I have, and then this right here is, uh, little baby cucumbers for uh, pickling cucumbers my tomato plant that's fallen over it's getting a little blight there on the bottom but look at all those tomatoes in there that I'm still gonna get this year this is peppers and tomatoes mixed together the, the tomatoes that are in this bed right here are um, volunteers um, from last year so that's exciting um, still have cucumbers. Um, they really liked me this year. Um, we got some poblamo peppers still coming on here. And uh, I got lots of jalapeno peppers still coming in. And then, oh my goodness, this is the first time I have done great on carrots. And what I did in this bed, I have a harvesting video that's gotten tons of views, a thousand views. And I harvested my um, potatoes out of the same bed. And then I planted my carrots in here and I give them a little bone meal. And that's, and then I thinned them out and made sure that I didn't have them too close together. And look at them. I've never had carrot greens that look that good. So 
hope, hoping for a great harvest on that one. And this I thought was just a zucchini plant because I hadn't produced anything. But I had planted some patty pans and look what I have here, guys. I've got a patty pan coming up at the end of the season. Um, my tomatoes over here are still producing. <laughs> Looks like I got a double tomato there and that's starting to change color, but I'm not gonna pick it. I want a little more, a little more color on it than that. This is my potato patch right there. That whole area of green right in here is all potatoes. Waiting for them to uh, die off, the greens to die off so we can harvest the potatoes. Um, and I'm hoping that I find some, I, I did plant in there at the beginning of the season some um, sweet potatoes, so hopefully I'll get some of those. Um, these are the zinnias I planted in out here. I cut them back once and look at, look at them. They're gonna grow all over the place. Beautiful zinnias. It's my Swiss chard and some more bell pepper, or not bell peppers, jalapeno peppers that I need to pick, are getting close to picking. I think I'm gonna let them get a bigger, a little bigger there, and there's some more. Um, kale is not doing good for me here. Um, got some more, um, there's kale in the middle there with some swish chard around it. Um, looks like we have another tomato to pick here. Oh, took off the other. So I have this other little green tomato connected to this. Now, if you are at the end of your season or your plants are dying off or your weather's getting really bad, because at, at about 40 degrees, if you're having constant 40 degrees temperatures or getting close to that, um, if it's just at night uh, for a couple of nights, don't do it. But if you're starting to get that constant 40 degrees at night temperature, that means your your tomato plant isn't going to um, continue um, its life cycle because it will die off rapidly at that point. Um, so that's when you want to think about pulling your tomato plant. And if you end up with a bunch of green tomatoes, put them and you want them for tomatoes. Um, you're not going to make green salsa or whatever you really had your heart out for tomatoes put them in um, a bag or something like that in a dark place and then check on them once a day every day um, take out the you'll start to see that um, when you do that they'll start to ripen up in there and as soon as they get some color put them in your winds uh, your window with some light and they will ripen up and uh, you'll you'll still get your tomatoes guys so this is my green beans and I just picked a bunch but I just noticed another one and we have the green and the purples as you can see here um, I gotta cook those for dinner tonight and then of course this, see how you can see here, um, we're still getting squash on this plant. So I'm not gonna pull it out, but it certainly is dying off. Now, if this one was close to another one, I'd be chopping back at these. I'd probably be pulling it because you can see it's got mildew on it. Um, because it's at the end of its cycle, I'm not spraying it with milk. Um, milk did help earlier in the season when I was having that problem. Um, so we're just gonna let it go. Um, my tomato plant, or these are my cherry tomatoes on this vine. And they are totally, you can see how that one's up like that and it's starting to bend over there too. But they have totally gone down and, and bent over. I can stand underneath this, but it's, <laughs> I'm walking in it now. But look, I'm still producing tons of tomatoes, so I'm not going to pull them. Um, zucchini is starting to come in. I have fought for this zucchini plant. Um, I will, and uh, so excited to see some zucchini coming on there. Um, 
I had little ones in the beginning of the season and then the chickens got to my zucchini plant through, you can see how close they are through um, the fence there. That's why that pool is there, um, which needs to be thrown away, but I might have to put up a little, little fence to keep them out of there. Um, maybe I'll put the, the wire that's on the other side, um, but we'll throw that pool away. Um, Under here, lots of, lots of uh, tomato plant, or t tomatoes. <laughs> and we're, we're up to here in tomatoes. And, uh, you know, so my rhubarb is all hanging out. I, I think this needs some more water. It's just been so dry, guys, here that uh, it's really having a hard time. So I'll have to show you on the other side. Just a second. We have some fun. We have another, this was a voluntary tomato plant too and it's just kind of fallen over. Looks like we have some ripe tomatoes on there. This is my um, eggplant and I don't know if these are any good guys, these ones right here. Are they gonna purple up? They're so green. But those are the little, um, little tomato, or little tomato, little eggplants there. Um, cauliflower in this bed, but it looks like I need to thin out the carrots. Um, over here we have another, uh, this is a spear kind of eggplant there and then we got another one coming up back there i'm so excited guys because i didn't think i was going to get any eggplant this year so um and then in this bed over here we have a bunch of lettuce coming up um it just kind of fell out so we'll see what happens there and then in the middle here and I started these from seed, and I'm seeing how it goes, guys. Um, in the middle here, we have uh, broccoli. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I just put them out here and um, starting those from seed. So, and that's romaine lettuce. And then we have a bunch of romaine lettuce in here as well on both sides so we'll have lots of salad to eat and these are my green more green beans that i picked from um not ready to pick yet and some some oh man that's that's lavender that smells heavenly so um looks like i have some tomatoes to pick from this volunteer Yum. Okay, guys. So that is my garden. Oh, and my uh, grape uh, vine is taking off. Um, so that is my garden. And um, excited about what's going to still come up this year. And... So anyways, that is what's going on in the garden. Um, things are still growing and uh, we are so excited. This has been the biggest gardening year we've had. Um, and we did it all from seed. Um, there's only a couple plants in here that I picked up at the store. In fact, I really had bad luck with uh, store uh, purchased plants this year and I don't know why. Um, so we are so excited. I haven't seen any loofah yet. Um, it'd be nice if I could get some loofah growing. We'll see how long our season, season is, guys. It's not usually this warm still. Um, last year by this time, I had, um, ripped out my tomato plants. <laughs> and this year, they just keep on, I don't think they're growing much more but the root is the 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 fruit is ripening up quicker um so that's so exciting so we will see you guys uh 
next time, I think for a while, guys, I'm gonna go down to three videos a week. Um, I've been doing six or seven videos a week um, because we have a lot going on in our lives right now. We just, so that's what, uh, what we're gonna do guys, three videos a week. So um, I have been taxing myself getting a video out every day and um, I'm not burnt out. I love bringing you content. I wanna bring you better content though. Um, I really wanna focus on getting some really good content out for you guys and um, kind of just bringing all of what we're doing um, into videos, um, better videos for you guys, more enjoyable. So um, we'll see you next time. Thank you for coming along with us today. Please like and subscribe and hit that notification bu button. And as always, God bless.